नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर योगेश बत्रा आई एम सीनियर कंसल्टेंट गैस्ट्रोन्टोलॉजी एट अपोलो हॉस्पिटल्स टुडे वी वुड बी बस्टिंग अ फ्यू मैथ्स ऑन पेप्टिक अल्सर डिजीज स्पाइसी फूड एंड स्ट्रेस कॉजेज पेप्टिक अल्सर दिस स्टेटमेंट इज नीदर अ मिथ नॉर अ फैक्ट वी हैव सीन फ्रॉम जनरेशन दैट दोज हु आर हाईली स्ट्रेस्ड have a increased incidence of peptic ulcer this is also reflected in the personality of those who have peptic ulcer they have been characteristically labeled as type a personalities similarly if you look at spices the incidence of peptic ulcer in india for example is much more in south india where the consumption of spices is more than that in north india however if you look at hard data if you look at hard studies which have analyzed this relationship no specific uh, relationship has been found between stress and spices and peptic ulcers smoking a cigarette relieves heartburn well smoking can relieve heartburn because smoking does reduce stress in individuals who are addicted to smoking however smoking does not cause a reduction in peptic ulcers in fact the only complicated peptic ulcers that we see today are in smokers and these ulcers present in disastrous consequences leading to hematemesis leading to obstruction leading to perforation a bit of undiluted vinegar will put an end into heartburn again a myth vinegar is an acid ingestion of acid cannot reduce heartburn in fact it is only increasing the acid in the body which will increase heartburn and cause a increase in the severity of peptic ulcer disease peptic ulcer disease is not treatable well peptic ulcer disease is definitely treatable the two most common reasons for peptic ulcer today are h pylori infection and nsaids milk can heal the peptic ulcer disease this is a myth at one point of time those who had severe acid symptoms severe acid reflux or even presented with hematemesis were given cold milk so cold milk does not actually heal peptic ulcers it simply soothes the inflamed lining and for some time there is partial relief but it is absolute myth that milk can actually heal peptic ulcers citrus fruits are bad for peptic ulcers this is a myth and there is no data to support that citrus fruits worsen peptic ulcers in any way depression and anxiety can't cause peptic ulcer there is no direct relationship between depression and anxiety and peptic ulcer but the incidence of peptic ulcer in those who are depressed and anxious and are on psychiatric treatment is much more than that in the general population the only symptoms of peptic ulcer are vomiting and bloating vomiting and bloating are very non specific symptoms these are symptoms of non ulcer dyspepsia and they can be present in a number of situations and a number of diseases the primary symptom of peptic ulcer is pain abdomen this pain is located in the epigastrium it can come up to the chest and it can even radiate to the back there is no treatment available for peptic ulcer this is a myth with modern day medicine there are a whole lot of medicines which are available to treat peptic ulcer right from treatment for h pylori infection to treatment of the ulcer itself to treatment of the precipitating diseases can peptic ulcer lead to cancer so there is a general belief in the population that anyone who has a peptic ulcer is going to end up in having gastric or duodenal cancer this is completely wrong because peptic ulcer disease usually does not lead to cancer peptic ulcer is a inflammatory disease and it is completely curable by medicine so today we busted a lot of myths on peptic ulcer we realize now that peptic ulcer is a treatable condition 
Peptic ulcer can actually be prevented by small small changes in our life like avoiding alcohol and avoiding smoking. If someone does get a peptic ulcer, it can be treated very easily by medication which includes treatment of the ulcer and treatment of H. pylori infection. Do consult a doctor if you come across any symptoms suggestive of peptic ulcer disease. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed.